Nyundu bangga jikoran kuri, ngayu buku bama wagu jadi jenji, ngayu bama gonggai, ngumpul bama gonggai. Gaya baru mugoi nyinangala, gonggai walaupun ribul bama mugoi janangala. Unyami, gonggari, gupu bara naga, bana golo-golo ngara, gen gara goa, ngumpul bama ngaji jabu. Nyundu bama, Berapa keranjinan yang ngobrol mah nyangajen binan bukal goreng. My grandfather was named William Yateman. He was actually from Dorset in England. Um, he travelled to Australia along with his brother and his cousin. Where I came from in Darwin, everybody was black, so we were we weren't. We weren't um, Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander, we were just black people. It's a type of um, muscle. Um, it's quite hard, um, and the reason why I, I took on that name for the shop um, is because it's, it's a, it has a lot of character, and it pretty much describes my grandfather. He found a job there near a place called Rossville, which is about 50, 60 kilometres from Cooktown. I wasn't born here. I was born in Cairns. Um, but I used to, we used to come over all the time for holidays and we even stayed here. But housing is such a big issue in, in Yarraville. There's a housing crisis in Yarraville, always has been. And we used to live at beach in a makeshift, humpy. Yeah, and it was just, it was, it was wonderful. Yeah, no worries of the world. You go out beach, you go, you go down the beach, go fishing, go hunting, go gathering. It was great. Yeah. I'm a descendant of the Kungenji tribe. Yes. And the tribe has two clan groups, which is Gurugulu and Gurubana. Gurugulu are the land clan groups, and Gurubana is the sea clan groups. During the time he was working there, uh, Master Minor, he actually met my full-blooded Aboriginal woman and she was a daughter of a tribal elder and over the years he stayed there, he met um, dad four children. The culture was one of our main things growing up. You know, um, we got taught from our elders here in the community. Um, you know, how to perform, you know, woman's woman's business, men is men business. And so we got to, um, you know, perform. We learnt our stories, you know, and we learnt, learnt our language, yeah. Our grandfather on my mum's side was taken away because of medical reasons from Yoruba. And I think it was uh, many, many years later that we, f we, finally, well, we finally found his resting place in, um, in Brisbane. 1914, he actually got called up in the Australian Army, and 1915, he actually travelled to, um, I think, Britain or France to come um, to fight in the war. And during that time, he got injured. Being a Gurugulu, our totem is the white cockatoo. That's significant to the Gurugulu clan group, and I am the eighth generation from King Maramani. Today it's known as King Menmani. So late last year with the true link up and the support of the stolen generation is uh, we, we finally I found him and found where he was you know, finally laid to rest in Brisbane and having a, uh, a graveside ceremony. So which was you know, brought a bit of closure to my mum because my mum's the only um, sibling uh, remaining. So when he came back to Australia, after recovering from his injuries, um, he found that his four children were taken from his wife's custody. And because of that, government, the Australian government at that time had that policy of, of um, removing three-quarter or half-caste kids away from their dark parents. We've got the connection here, because my grandmother was born here. I started learning some of the culture, listening to old people and that. And I was just, yeah, I was taken in. I said, no, I want to learn more. 
Yeah. So I, I know I'm belonging here. We have different way of exposing our identity and telling stories. It's whether we do it verbally, by stories, whether we do it through performing arts, which is dancing, or through the artists. As, as for the artists, it's, it, comes, it results from the artwork itself. It shows the connection to the land and sea. As I was growing up, my, um, my dad, um, he took the Bamanapi Nappi dance troupe um, up and down the coast. Um, our main destination that we used to travel was to um, Melbourne to visit our auntie um, Jackie, but she's now passed on. And um, she organised us with us to um, dance at all the schools around um, Williamstown. He actually got a horse, he rode from Cooktown, and it took him seven days from Cooktown to Cairns to come and track his children. And when he got to the Cooktown area, uh, Cairns area, he went into the protectors of Aborigines and demanded it to have his children back in his custody, in his wife's custody. I see myself um, as having a very important role in the school, um, but I'm also very aware um, and how, of, of how privileged I am to be in this role. Because um, I know historically our, um, our uh, schooling system hasn't always been receptive of local knowledge and, and, and passing that on. Uh, to the future generations. He was told because of the government policy and because he was a white um, English bloke married to an Aboriginal woman, the government policy that they weren't allowed to have children. Um, and he said, he said, okay, if that's the case, then if I can't have my children back, I would like the children to carry my name, which is the Yaitan name. And today we have nearly three, 200, 300 Yatman children there, ran Yarraba, and, and my grandfather was one of them. It has a lot of character and it reminds me of him, but also it reminds me of myself, actually, um, that uh, this can't be broken. It, it, you have to really hit at it really hard to break it. Um, so in a way, that's me. I loved Yarraba as I lived here and um, I mean we had our ups and downs and I went back to Darwin and all that but um, we had all our children here and I've lived here ever since and I don't think I'd ever move back anywhere, back even to Darwin. He spent seven days riding on horseback when there was no cars or playing around at the time. You know he came all the way from Cookdown to get his children back and to no avail. So, um, so yeah, so, and you know, like for me and for other families of him, you know, we, we're privileged and honoured to, to, to be here, you know, like in this community and carry his name. Whilst there's still a long way to go, we're still encouraged by you know, the, the, um, the direction we're going, um, but we, we can all work towards, together towards the betterment of our community. And, and vice versa, it's a shared arrangement, and partnership arrangement. Is, is the non-Indigenous sector can learn a lot from us, but we can also learn a lot from them. You know, whether it's the private or business or the corporate sector. So we all need to uh, play a part in that contribution you know, towards a better, happier um, community. As a representative of my people here, um, that live in this area, uh, the Gurugulu Unganji people, uh, and my elders, past, uh, present, and the people of this area now, just want to welcome you guys to my country. That's why it's very important that we teach our children these kind of things. Everything is connected, we're connected to the land and sea, because we had whole people tell a story about the sea, and we got whole people telling a story about the land. So everything is connected. We are one. That's why in our culture, we give our children language name from the sea and the land. So we connected to everything.
They are our brothers and our sisters and our family, and they become a totem to us. That's the reason why it's very important that we look after things.